Now to create a slider gallery via field is very easy. Let's demo this using the article content type. We go to structure, content types, article, manage fields. There's already an image field here, but we'll leave it alone as we need an image field that can upload multiple images. So leave it alone and create another new field called gallery. So for field type, we choose image. Save it. Continue. Save field settings. Scroll down. File directory. It's always good to save it into a folder for better file management. So let's type article slash gallery maybe. So we keep all the photos of the gallery inside this article. For maximum image resolution, let's set to 900 by 900. It's always a good practice to limit the maximum image resolution at least. Now this will prevent especially the client to upload image that's too big. There's no point of uploading an image of 4000 pixels again, while you know well you only need to display a 900 pixel slide. So it's just a waste of space. But again, always set it slightly bigger like 1000 or even 1005 for future extension if you can foresee. Now we skip the minimum image resolution. You can set it according to your own preference if you want. Let's scroll down. We we'll enable the title view for caption. Let's scroll down again. Now, if you have installed PL upload module for uploading multiple images, you should be able to find this called file sources. And you can turn on this advanced upload wizard for uploading multiple images. We have recorded a video explaining on how to install this module. So if you are interested, pause the video and get this module installed and continue. So let's scroll down. Number of values will set to unlimited. Let's save settings. Now let's add an article. Content, add content, article. Give it a title. Let's put in some dummy text for the body as a description to this article. Scroll down. We skip this image view. For the gallery view we created just now, we can switch it to advanced upload. We can either click on this add files to add more files, or we can simply open a folder and select a number of images, pull to the box, drag and drop, and start upload. Now we'll fill in the caption for each image, right? You can also swap the position as you like. Okay, let's save it and take a look. Good. Now we we'll see all the images to display here. Let's go to structure, content types, article, manage display. Now we'll move this gallery view to the top, right? Label, I think we hide it. For the format here, okay, this time we have one more format called flex slider. We simply choose this one. And click on the gear here, option set. Again, you have different options that we have created two earlier. I think we use back to a default one. Image style, we use flex slider full. Now we use image title as caption. Right? So we update, save. Let's view that article again. Let's go to content. That's great. Good. Now you can see flex slider created easily with just some simple configuration on the view itself. Now if you want to display some thumbnails down below the slider, you can create another option set for this. If you are interested, 
Let's continue the last part. Let's copy flex slider again. Go to option set. I think we create one more set from default. We clone it from the default set. And for this one, we'll call it article gallery. Machine name article underscore gallery. All in small letter. There's only one thing we need to change here. And then navigation and control settings. For paging controls, you can set to thumbnails. Right? So we save it. Now go to our structure, content types, article, manage display. To select this option set, click again. Now option set this time, we will choose article gallery. Update. Save it. Back to our content again. Scroll down. Great. So you can see the thumbnail this time. The only thing is that this paging is not a carousel. So you actually display all the thumbnails. If you really want to show the slider with the carousel which look nicer, I suggest you use views. If you turn on the flag slider example module, it's actually creating two separate image fields. That's how it makes it possible to create the carousel via the field support. I think it's not necessary. It's just a waste of effort to upload the same image twice. I think using views is an alternate and better way. Now again, there are a few more examples you can check it out yourself by turning on the flex slider example module. You can go to modules, search for flex slider, and you can turn this on. This flex slider example. There are a few modules that you need to install context features strong arm before you can turn this on. All right. So hope you enjoyed the tutorial and do remember to subscribe to our channel for more sharing to come.